My son, Junior Bueno, was born on October 18th, 1999. He was the youngest. Four kids. Junior had a love for sports. He loved every sport out there, but he really loved football and baseball. He played sports since he was very young. And that was his passion to play football or baseball professionally. He went on to coach younger kids in baseball and football. And he he loved his family. He was such a kind-hearted kid. He always put everybody above his, himself. He, he always, everybody's needs came before his. He never, he hardly ever said no to anybody. There wasn't a time that he didn't jump up at the, at the drop of a dime for anybody. I don't know anybody that didn't love my son. But he was my anger. He had his birthday. He turned 17 on October 18th. He took his life on November 2nd. And there were no signs, no signs. And that's what's so hard for us is most people, they have an answer as to why their kid or their family member is gone. We didn't get that from Junior. And we hear now that they say the people with the biggest smiles are the ones that are hurting the most. And my, my son's smile lit up a room. He lit up a sky. I feel like if we, if we would have known there was something, we would have done anything in, in our power to help him. I know a little time before this happened to Junior, I had a student come up to me and tell me that Junior stopped this, this student from committing suicide. He stopped this kid and nobody was there to stop my son. So people, they're out there, kids, they're out there. It is hope. You need to reach to somebody. You need to talk to somebody. You need to talk to your parents. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your parents, talk to your friend. Talk to somebody. Don't do something, because you will leave your family and friends hurting. Yeah, you probably stop hurting yourself, stop hurting, but you will hurt more, the most people that you love. So don't do something that you shouldn't do. Think before you do something. I know it's hard for people to talk about depression. But I want people to know that there's help out there now. I feel like it was, suicide was something that people didn't want to talk about. And we've lost so many, not just my son, but we've, we've lost my son's friends, we've lost family friends. And there is help. There, there might not have been help for my son or for the other kids and the other adults that, that this happened to, but I want people to come out more. I want people to talk about it. I want to spread my story. I want to let people know that
I would offer my help. All people want, I feel like, is somebody to listen to them. Doesn't have to be a psychologist or a teacher or somebody that has a degree. That's because I don't have any of that. But I'm a mom and I have a heart. I want to help be that voice for suicide and let them know they're not alone. They'll never be alone.